Hey everybody, what's up? Willis here. We're back with another First Ascendant video. So in this video, guys, just want to bring you guys a quick news update. Nexon have just dropped some updates over on their website regarding Twitch drops and some of the new upcoming changes. Talking a bit about the next hotfix. Before we jump into this video, guys, I want to do a little cheeky giveaway for obviously you guys on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of giveaways lately for obviously Discord and Twitch. So now it's time for you YouTube guys to get some juice. So put this video with a like, leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And in this video, I'm going to give away 520 caliber. And yeah, I'll probably pick someone from the comment section. So smash that like button, leave a comment. And yeah, let's jump into the video. So it looks like Nopon has actually found a bug where if you're playing as Ajax, you can actually team kill uh ultimate vs's now i'm not entirely sure how it works but yeah obviously don't do this in your games but it looks like um the way he's doing it is like vs is running with like a ice walk and then i guess like ajax just uses the uh the shield i don't know maybe you've done this by mistake if you're an ajax but hopefully this is addressed soon and this is fixed but yeah Team killing uh, can be kind of crazy if it's like exploited as well in public lobbies. Someone has managed to get their dream loadout. It only took 300 plus amorphous materials. Look at that. The afterglow sword, um, multiple copies of it as well. And it looks like they've got the, the god roll. They've got the firearm attack, weak point damage, firearm critical rate and firearm critical um hit rate so yeah that is a god roll if i have ever seen one and they're using it on bunny which is kind of interesting and they also have 4k hp okay someone is calling these the logitech hard disk yeah i saw the logo here and it full-on looks like the logitech g hub like gaming logo i thought that was hilarious these reactors shouldn't even be in the loot pool i couldn't agree even more it's so annoying when you get like a reactor that is like like why does this have electric skill boost and it has toxic skill boost and it's just on like a singularity reactor it makes zero sense how this would even work so i feel like these should never even roll together so hopefully nexon fixes that because that's kind of nuts also i have noticed that obviously these skins on the shop it does say it's uh, it's limited. So I'm always, I'm wondering myself as well, will they come back? They'll probably rotate on and off. Um, I'm not really a fan of like the limited skins. It kind of just like pressures you to like buy them. So yeah, obviously they've got like timers on them. Like I'm assuming they're going to go away uh, when the timer, when the days like tick down. So yeah, it's kind of like a thing. It's like, hey, buy this now because we're going to go away. And this is so just pressures you to buy it fellow mr farmers i believe i have milked the game of every single mr xp possible um this person called anti uh, social perfect name there has reached mastery rank 25 i think to even do this you need to do like every single mission again on hard mode you need to level up every single descendant in the game and level up every single weapon what a absolute grind but fair play i'm not really sure what I, what you can actually do after that point to get more mastery rank but yeah i'm assuming once they release more weapons and obviously more descendants so obviously when ultimate valby comes out ultimate valby will give you another chunk of xp and yeah but yeah i don't remember where reyna actually was like i'll be honest i didn't really pay much attention to the story i probably ran into it like an outpost i'm pretty sure but yeah she looks like she could fully be uh, a descendant so yeah curious to see if they'll ever add reyna and like maybe what she does pretty cool so it looks like we've got some new updates regarding the twitch drop event and obviously a notice for some server maintenance which is going to be happening so let's start off with the server maintenance so there is going to be server maintenance uh this wednesday on the 31st and it's going to run from um i guess midnight to 5 a.m pdt you can probably do the time conversion i think this is like 11 a.m for me uh, the game will be unavailable during maintenance. The maintenance details and times are subject to change. Um, what's actually coming with this is the pre-season content update, fixing some game errors, and they're going to update us with details on Wednesday um, and the hot fix 1.0.5 announcement. I did do a video on pretty much everything they're adding in 1.0.5 over on the channel. So go have a look for that video. It basically just like explains what they're adding. Obviously, the new modules luna ultimate valby all that good stuff and a lot of changes as well i'm assuming they're just going to probably repost that with like updated stuff that they've just like obviously slipped in but yeah maintenance on wednesday 
Thankfully, it's at a time when everyone would probably be asleep or just waking up. I'll never understand when developers just like update the game in the middle of the day, but I guess you can't really help it with the amount of time zones. But I feel like this is a good time. So the Twitch drop event. The Twitch drop event is scheduled to end today. Please make sure to claim your awards from the mailbox within the given period. So if you guys don't know, if you watch streamers over on Twitch, you can earn Twitch drops for the game. Now, unfortunately, this has ended if you're watching this video. So if you haven't gone and got the Twitch drops, you probably won't be able to get them again because most of the time the Twitch drops are an exclusive one time thing. It might return in the future, but I'm assuming the next set of Twitch drops will probably give you like just new cosmetics, which they'll probably add. It'd be nice to see like rotating Twitch drops every single update. Next one, if you're watching, I feel like this should be a thing as well. A lot of games do this where you get like a special reward or something when you like gift a sub. I know those ones kind of go crazy over on Twitch. Just a suggestion. New skins and possibly uh, beta skins coming July 31st. So these skins were in the beta. I don't know where people keep saying that they're going to be coming on the 31st with the update. I have no idea. Obviously, here we have Glay. We got, I think this is Lepic or Jaber. And then we have Bunny. And yeah, okay, it is actually Jaber. It says his name there. But yeah, I know this is from the beta, obviously, because look, it's got the old beta like overlay UI. And yeah, I did see the post over on Twitter. I, I like I said, I don't know where the rumor started where it's going to be coming on the 31st. I don't think it is. But yeah, who knows? Um, drop rates can be frustrating, but I recommend using this tool before you say that the drop rates are a lie. Now, even if this is a tool or whatever the, the chance is, it could still be a lie. Like, it doesn't matter if there's like a calculator. But yeah, it's worth trying this calculator. So basically, someone said, if you're grinding a 20% drop and you do it 10 times, there's only an 89.26 chance that you would have gotten it by now. This means for 100 people farming that piece, 10.74 people will need to open it more than 10 times. If you're farming a 3% drop rate and you open it 100 times, that's still a 95% chance to get it. It is very bad luck you didn't. Absolutely, yes. But somebody has to have that bad luck and I'm very sorry it was you. Edit, I did not make this tool and I have no affiliation with it. But yeah, it's basically a chance probability like calculator and it basically yeah just calculates the chances of mainly like gacha and i guess like drop chances but yeah nine times out of ten if you're farming something a ton and you don't get it unfortunately you are the i guess minority of the people who just got unlucky i guess but yeah i guess because there's just so many people playing the game it just feels like everybody but yeah what are your thoughts on the drop rates in the game i think they're kind of nuts to be honest but yeah it's nothing new in these Lua Shua games. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But once again, if you're watching this far, we're going to be giving away some caliber in this video. Um, support this video with a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe as well. Come and join my Discord. We do a ton more giveaways on the Discord. And obviously, when I'm streaming on Twitch, we do the ultimate descendant giveaways. Um, so yeah, come on by. Discord and all the good stuff will be pinned in the comment section. And one last thing, if you are watching this far, guys, we did a stream yesterday where we gave away three ultimate descendants. Yes, three ultimate descendants. And that's thanks to you guys for supporting me on the videos. So I just want to say thank you. And if you guys are planning to use a creator code, we now have our own creator code in the game. If you want to use mine, like I said, it'll be in the pinned comment. Or if you're on PC, you can add me or just search me up, WillisTTV, hashtag 2867, and there'll be this creator details button. Once again, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, this button won't be here. So you need to use the link in the top of the video description. I think we're like 200 away from being the number one most supported Nexon creator. So yeah, that'd be pretty nuts if we could reach it. But other than that, guys, have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next video.